The Tank Bowl is a special event that deserves to be seen by all in the football world. Little do people care for these masterpieces of drag. Empty seats and apathy litter the stadiums during these clashes for the top pick. But you can help. The resale market is booming with cheap tickets to these incredible games, and the power of SeatGeek can help you maximize your comedy potential. The many tickets people are desperately trying to give away are aggregated to help you get the best value. Unlike the teams on the field, it executes flawlessly. Sorting all tickets from red to green on a 1 to 100 scale, a sneak peek from where you'll be sitting, fully secured in NFL certified tickets, the ability to be scanned into the game from the app. If you're a newbie, use the code word TREE in the link below to save $20 off your first purchase. These tank bulls need to be appreciated. Their legacies must not be forgotten. Help these poor souls out with a one-way ticket to SeatGeek. Hey, can I talk to you guys for a moment? Okay, I guess we can take a second to talk with a struggling lineman. My shoulder's been really hurting for a while now, and I think it may be serious. Uh-huh, what's your point? Can the doctors have a look at it and see if anything's wrong? What are we, a charity? Uh, fine, we'll have someone look at you. Kelsey, how are you, chum? I'm um, okay. Open wide. Uh... He's fine, good to play football. Wait, what? You didn't even look! Hey, buddy, they don't pay me to be thorough, they pay me to get results. Exactly, you're okay. Get your ass back on the field. You guys are idiots. Enough of this jetsing of theater, you know what you're here for. A legitimate matchup between two bottom feeders of the NFL and the relentless fight for Tua. Or Joe Burrow, depending on what you fancy. A classic old-fashioned tank bowl! The Miami Dolphins have been in this situation several times this year. Previously, they nearly destroyed their own carefully deconstructed tank by scoring 13 unanswered points, but were saved by ineptitude on the two-point conversion. The guy who dropped that pass was rewarded by being traded to a slightly less shitty team for a mid-round pick. Their newest challenger, the New York Jets. A team that was expecting to at least be below average has been revealed to be one of the biggest disasters this side of landing in the Hudson. There is no Sully to save the plane this time, however. They are a truly terrible franchise. An off-season of chaos and hilarity has been amplified by negligence injuries and a quarterback slowly turning into a meme. Key players like Jamal Adams and Le'Veon Bell linked to rumors of being shipped off at the deadline just because. This is what the Jets do to players. Mark Sanchez can attest to such torture. Just like the last Tank Bowl, this affair is taking place at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. It doesn't have the aura of the Super Tank Bowl, but it is still a game worthy of celebration. The race for the bottom never takes a day off. Adam Gase desperately needs to prove that he isn't the newest meme of a head coach. An opening touchdown for the Jets would help such thinking. Barely. They fail to realize an old friend will continue to hurt their chances at avoiding humiliation. Fitzception. He's good at destroying the ambitions of the Jets, no matter how false they can be. It's the terrible secondary that the Jets have displayed, wouldn't you? Perhaps we have underestimated how god-awful the butt fumble has been this season. For as blatant as the Wolfins have been tanking, teams like the Bungles and Jets have been assembling their tanks in the shadows, inadvertently destroying their foolishly hopeful seasons by means of their own incompetence. Look at what they did this offseason. Gave a lame duck GM the keys to a crucial stretch, threw a shitload of money around at big free agents, and then fired him after the draft. They gave power to Adam Gase, the former Wolfins coach who had been coasting on his coattail riding of Peyton Manning for the past five years. Joe Douglas was kidnapped from his home in Philly and is crying himself to sleep every night. Look at this shit! Sam Donald, what the fuck is this? What is this throw? You have guaranteed points, just take the sack! He's turning into more and more of a joke with every passing week. His confidence is shot. Even in the throws he's making, he looks awful. His footwork is shit, his reads are shit, his decision making is skittish. What the hell is Adam Gase doing? Wasn't he supposed to be this QB mastermind? Who knew that doing nothing for years would prove that wrong? Now Miami can rack up the score. <laughs> get New York a safety. Even for the butt fumbling, the Wolfins continue to give us good comedy. With the ball back, the Jets managed to do something and kick a field goal. They could have had seven, they get five. Progress before halftime? I went to an independent doctor for a second opinion. They said there's a serious issue and I need surgery. What did we tell you about going outside the organization? You told me nothing! They've examined me and say that there's an issue! Are you fucking kidding? No, of course not! We had our doctors give you an intensive physical and say that everything was fine. You call that an examination? You sent blank MRIs to the doctors! Yeah, well, mistakes happen. You can deal with it or be fine for every week you miss. What?! You heard what I said. You don't have a problem. Now if you don't get back on the field, you're not getting paid. This is ridiculous. Okay, fine, we'll compromise. 
We'll put you as doubtful for next week's game. Doubtful? I'm getting surgery on it soon! That's an unexcused absence. Seriously! Our doctors graduated from Long Island Community College. They're the best we can get. If they think you're fine, you're fine. Fuck this! That's a fine! The second half would bring us to a deep grind for the tank. A battle of field goals would commence, except for this one which was pushed wide. The offenses would fall victim to the void. A tank ball we were expecting just a tad late. With gains as non-existent as those of the Magic the Gathering convention. Even for their failure, the Jets were only down by nine with the- <laughs> Sam Darnold has become Jay Cutler. He doesn't give a fuck anymore. Look at him just stand there as the Wolfins nearly get six. The butt fumble is consuming him. Someone save him before he's forced to clipboard land. It's at this point where an inevitability is hitting us in the face. The Lolfins are destroying the tank they sold off to make as bad as possible. Winning a meaningless football game is the worst thing that they could do. They'll think Fitzception is the answer and give him another extension to suck in a year's time. He got his revenge, Jets. Are you proud? How do you sleep at night? You just lost to the do- <laughs> You lost to the Dolphins! You just lost to the Dolphins! <laughs> Even when you try to pad the stats, you fail. Jesus Christ, the Jets are an abortion of a franchise. Not living down a game, this team hasn't been able to get past the fucking butt fumble. It's been their identity and it's confirmed by this atrocious performance. It doesn't matter what they do or who they throw money at, they will continue to be trash. No, I'm not surprised Adam Gase isn't embarrassed by this showing. He's a living embarrassment as a coach. I want to see how his interview went. Did Gase do the googly-eyed thing and the Johnsons think it was the next evolution of coaching genius? This whole organization is a fucking meme. You have to be when you lose to a team deliberately trying to suck. I would love to be at the Giants-Jets game coming up. It's going to be an entire universe of shit trapped in a stadium that should be sucked into a black hole. Any fans actively cheering for either team should be involuntarily committed for Stockholm Syndrome. That is all. So, Kalechi, have you learned your lesson about being too paranoid? I need to talk to you. You got the damn surgery, didn't you? You went over the tape. The operation was a complete success, but the damage to his shoulder was far more severe than we first anticipated. Yeah, sounds like bullshit, but go on. Any more football done to it in his career may have been jeopardized. You sure you thought he was okay? Look, we have real players to deal with here. We have a team that's terrible and a quarterback that sees the dead. God forbid we make a minor clerical error. Minor clerical error? I'm gonna take this to the NFLPA. Your negligence has given me a nice case against your bullshit. All right, that's it. We've been more than reasonable in catering to your whining and entitlement. You're finished, dear Kalachi. Get out of this office!